Hello everyone, this is Jelena Vujicic and I want to ask you something. I want you to make a break from whatever you are doing right now, make a pause and invest some time in yourself and ask yourself, am I happy? Then ask yourself, what do I really want? Am I living the life I want to live or I'm trading my life for something? So it's really, really important that we sometimes make a pause and really just do a little review about our life and really ask ourselves, do I really do on a daily basis what I want or what I believe it's necessary, it's like important what others expect from me to do. And it's so crucial because, you know, it's just like that. Our lives is, you know, life, the time is flying. And if we don't uh, invest some time in really get to know who we are and what we want to do we can find ourselves it's like uh, you know five years past already 10 years and then uh, almost our whole life and we do things that we usually don't like to do and then this is my uh, invitation for you to really uh, make a pause for the moment and really ask yourself, what do I want? And you can, you can, you know, just invest some time. You can be alone with yourself. You can uh, close the door and you can lock yourself and be with yourself, with your thoughts and really do a little investigation with yourself and observe your wants and desires. Ask yourself, what do I want? What is my dream? What is my vision? What desires I have? Not what other people expect uh, me to do, not what my boss expect to uh, expect me to do. And let's say it could be what my family expect for me to do. And it's really not about others. It's just about us. Why am I here? Why am I here on a planet Earth? what what do i really really want and let's say it could be that you are really uh, doing in your life what you what you really love to do and that's great and it's amazing but if you have that feeling inside of you let's say from time to time like i had earlier that there is something you would love to do but it's just like a thought that it's just like a like like a really like a, a se- it's, it's a, just a second. It's so, so uh, fast that you like didn't have a time to really pay attention on that. But it's a just constant feeling that's coming to you. Like you should do something else. You should do this or you should do that. I, I, I supposed to be somewhere else. I like, there's a feeling like I'm meant for more. I, I I really feel that there is something else where I can contribute more. And if you have that feeling that really take some time, invest some time in yourself and really ask deeper questions. What do I really want? What do I really, what do I really want to do in my life? What is my contribution? And then you can write it down on a piece of paper, invest some time, and then you're going to start receiving answers. What is your wants and desires? And if you don't get anything, then just be patient. Allow yourself to be open to receive answers from God, from universe, and then really uh be aware of information that are coming to you and you will know like you will have that feeling inside of you when it's like a click it's really it's like triggers you wow it's like a really something that that it's like inspirational it's like a intuitive thought and let's say i'm talking this to you because i had experience 
because I'm coming from corporate world where I was working around 13 years. And all the time I had a feelings, not just once, but so many times like, oh, there is something for me. There's something else I should do. Like I felt that I'm not on a good track. Like I felt that there's something more meaningful for me. And then at one point of time, I really realized that it's the time, no more. And I really decided to invest some time in me and to find what is that that I really love to do. That I, what is that that I uh, love invest my time in? And can you imagine, it's like, um, you know, for me, it was an uh, experience like I have I have been passionate about something, about personal development, about understanding human mind and human potential and how conscious and subconscious mind uh, work. And it was like all the time present in my life, but I just couldn't realize that is something that I really love to do. I understood that like, okay, this is my passion. This is something that I, that I, that I love to read about. I love to, to know more about that. But I couldn't see the connection bit between uh, my love, my passion toward that, and what I can do with that, actually, but really do and invest more time in that. So I had to ask myself, what do I really want? And uh, I didn't get answer immediately, but I uh, made pure intention that I'm going to receive, respond. And I just said, thank you, God. Thank you for giving me clear, specific information. Thank you for giving me guidance. And thank you for giving me the, the clear picture what I would love to do. And that was uh, what, that was the first day, and I didn't get answer immediately that day, but I got an answer two days after that, and it was really really amazing and spectacular how that happened, because the answer that I got it was mind blowing. I was like, wow, really? It was like really. Is it really that I had to ask this question? Like, it was obvious. Like, it was all the time, like, in front of my eyes, but I just couldn't see that. <laughs> it was, like, so obvious, but I couldn't see it because it was so close to me, you know? It's it's like you don't see something that is so close into your life, and it's, like, every day it's with you, but you, you just don't see that. And... That is really when I realized my passion and my really my love uh, for for personal development, for learning and uh, uh, studying more about human mind, about mindset, about energy, about spirituality, and how everything is connected. You know what's happening inside of us, how we create our reality, why things are happening the way it's happening, and. Uh, that's the moment I attracted into my life, my mentor, Bob, Bob Proctor. And, you know, from that moment, my life completely changed because I started doing something that it's in my heart. And then later on, it's uh, my vision, uh, just uh, my vision started growing and growing and expanding uh, in the same moment while I was working on me on myself my vision also uh, uh, started growing and becoming bigger and bigger and clearer much more clear in my mind in my imagination and uh, now when I'm talking this I, I, I'm really inspired uh, to share this information with you and really to I, I really want to inspire you to invest some time in yourself to invest some time uh, studying about who you are, about how powerful you are, about how you create 
your reality, understanding how it's that happening so that you can later apply all that knowledge into your life and really create the life you want, do whatever you want and experience whatever you want in your life. And um, then for those of you who are already doing what you love to do, but you're just kind of stuck to see the bigger picture, to see the, the, the bigger vision of your dream, of your, uh, of your, let's say, contribution to the world. You don't have that huge uh, vision, dream in your mind. Then I invite you con to connect more with yourself and also to start asking questions what is that that I want? How I would like to contribute to this world? You know, when I said, how can I and what I would love to do and how can I contribute to this world? That question is just like uh, inspires more inspiration inside of me. Because when I ask that question, it suddenly, I don't think about myself only. Then I think about others, about people that I uh, touch through my life, about my contribution uh, in their lives. How can I inspire change in them? So it's not about me but it's about people and their lives and change that I can inspire inside of them. And, you know, when you start thinking about your vision, your desires from that perspective, then everything shifts. At least it was for me like that. Because, you know, when I think about me, when I think only about myself, what I would love to have in my life, what I would love to experience in my life, what would I, what what I would love to, you know, to do, to have. It's like easily, it's for I can easily, you know, give up from that because I can say, like, oh you Yelena, you don't need to do this, you don't need to work so much hard for this. It's like I have tendency to not to do things. But, but when it's not about me, when it's more about others, it's about other people in my life and their lives and uh, life I touched with what I do, then it's much more inspiration. Then I'm really uh, inspired to do this work. And I invite you to do that also for yourself. Start asking questions, but really... Uh, be aware and ask yourself, do I live my life on autopilot, repeating like every single day it's same, like I wake up, go to work, do the, the same things over and over again every single day. And then from time to time, I have some moments of pleasure when I have some fun with my close people or my day, my every day, it's really amazing my every day, it's kind of contrib contribution to the world. Even though I have moments that are not, let's say, easy for me to experience, still, I know I'm living my purpose. I'm living the life I, I want to live. And I'm really doing some meaningful work. So this is invitation for you to start asking deeper questions start getting bigger images in your mind why you are here on the planet earth what is your contribution how would you love to contribute see yourself start seeing yourself as a light on this planet you are the light and from you you are spreading light to others through your services that you are providing through the products you are selling from what from whatever you are doing wherever is your passion wherever it's your heart i hope this will help you uh, for understanding more about you about yourself about who you are and how can you contribute to this world thank you so much for watching and see you soon